Hey guys, Lucas Sacco here, showing you guys a new format post Phantom Nightmare uh, Fire King combo tutorial video. Uh, we went over Fire Kings in the past, but that was before the new stuff, and the deck definitely improves a lot with the uh, the new support coming out. So let's just get straight into the video. I'm gonna show you a few combos, which ones play around hand traps best, and how to be best approach deck building for the format. So in the first combo I'm gonna show you with just Snake Eye Ash. This is what I call the early Apo combo. It plays around the most things. Uh, so normal summon Ash, effect to add. Add Populous to hand. This is uh, one of the game changing cards that comes out in Phantom Nightmare. We're going to activate Populous' effect to summon. Populous' effect on summon to add. It's going to add Original to hand. So now, this is where a lot of the, the combos start to pivot away from each other and kind of play differently. So we can go Ash effect sending itself and Populous to the graveyard to summon from deck. We're going to summon Snake Eyes Oak here. And then go Chain Link 1. Oak effect, chain link to Populous effect. So Populous is going to put itself in the spell trap. Oak is going to resolve and summon out that ash from graveyard. Then we're going to go activate the effect of Oak, sending itself. Ooh, go away, Malware Bites. And uh, Populous, it's going to summon Flame Burge from deck. Now that we have Flame Burge, we're going to use the effect to put something in the spell trap. And this is how you play around a lot of hand traps, is we use Flame Burge to get something in the spell trap. That way, no matter what happens, if we get like Nib Veil, if we get Nibbed anyway, we get disrupted. We're still going to have this excessive line of original send this spell trap monster. So now we're going to play with our, our snake eye cards. We're going to link two into sunlight wolf. Trigger the flame burst to summon from the graveyard. Trigger the sunlight wolf. It's going to put the flame burst back in our hand. Doesn't really matter what we add here. We're going to get rid of it later. But now we're going to link one to link Karibo. And link three into sunlight wolf. I'm sorry, not something with Heat Soul. We get Heat Soul's effect to draw. Uh, every time I do a draw on a combo tutorial, usually just add a hand trap to my hand. Uh, this is not like a real representation. You won't draw a hand trap every time, but it's it's a free draw. So I'm just going to put that to, to represent it. We're going to link two into Appaloosa. And this is why this combo is safer. Because of Appaloosa having the negate for like an Ash Blossom or any other form of hand trap. Now we can just play how we want. So we can go activate original effects in the populace here. It's going to go ahead and summon out the Ponyx from deck. Ponyx effect is going to add Sanctuary. Then we're going to go Sanctuary's effect to place the field spell. Next we go Island effect, destroying Flame Burge from hand. And you might be wondering why we're destroying Flame Burge. And it's because this gets us more total bodies. Um, and, and aligns our disruptions better. So now we destroy Flame Burge, we're going to trigger the Garunix to summon out. Garunix effect to destroy from deck and this is important here but in response to this Garunix effect to destroy from deck we're going to chain link Karibo to tribute the Ponyx so there's all the chain links summon out link Karibo Garunix destroys Arvata from deck and then the Arvata triggers and it's going to summon back Ponyx that gives us three bodies here so now we can link all of these into Promethean Princess use the effect to revive from graveyard doesn't really matter what you summon here. And then we can make Amblowell. So this puts a lot of your disruptions on the field. It definitely plays hard into Soul Release and Inscription and Shadal Fusion. However, it also plays around Hand Traps the best. So this is the combo that I think you're supposed to do for Game 1. Uh, but like your disruptions are, are very well set up. Because you have the obviously the two Epilus Negates. You have Promethean Princess to destroy your Amblowell. And then you have Amblo Whale triggers, Garunix triggers, so not Garunix, and then the Amblo Whale is going to summon out Heat Soul. So we have Heat Soul Garunix, Garunix effect, it's going to go ahead and destroy Kirin from deck, trigger the Kirin, summon out Arvata and get a pop. So now we have the Arvata negate by destroying Promethean, and then we can trigger the Amblo Whale because a Link 3 or lower was destroyed to go ahead and non-target pop. And we also get another draw off the Heat Soul on our opponent's turn. Okay, so that's it for the first combo. For the next combo, it gives you a little bit of a better approach as to playing around Soul Release. Alright, for the next combo, we're going to start with Snake Eye Ash again. Normal Summon Ash, use the effect to add Populous. Trigger the Populous' effect because it's added to hand to Special Summon. Populous effect on field is going to go ahead and add... Snake Eye Ash to hand, or Snake Eye Original. We're going to link one. 
into Link Karibo, use the Populous effect to put itself in the spell trap. Then we're going to use the Snake Eye Ash effect. Going to go ahead and send itself in the Populous here. And this is where we're going to play around Nib and stuff like that. <laughs> we're going to summon Flame Burge from the deck. Then we're going to use Flame Burge's effect to put something in the spell trap. Next, we can go Original Effect, send the Populous. Summon Ponyx. Activate the Ponyx effect to add. It's going to get a Sanctuary. Activate Sanctuary. It's going to go ahead and place Island. Island effect destroys Ponyx. It's going to add Garunix to hand. Trigger Garunix effect to summon. Garunix effect is going to destroy Arvata. And this combo is really good at playing around Nibiru. Uh, because at this point, we're summoning back the Ponyx. And we're going to force out the Nibiru soon. Because if they Nibis, we do get the Flame Burst to summon back from Graveyard. So we're going to link these all into a Promethean Princess. And they have to Nib you on this summon here. Because if they don't Nib you on this summon, then we're going to activate Promethean. And non-targeting summon back the Arvata. Which is a monster negate which definitely disrupts your opponent. Now we're going to link two. Make that Sunlight Wolf from earlier. Trigger the Flame Burge. Summon back your guys. Trigger the Sunlight Wolf to add back. In this case, it doesn't really matter what you add back. Putting the Flame Burge in hand is definitely a good follow up. We're going to activate the Link Karibo in Graveyard. Tribute the Ponyx to Special Summon out. Then we can make a Heat Soul. Use the effect to pay a thousand again. Add ourselves an Imperm. And then we have two options. We can either make the Appaloosa here for two, or we can make the Amblo Whale. I think the Appaloosa is a little bit better as it plays around Super Poly. And uh, this is the board. You have a little bit more of a pivoting point because you don't have to rely on Promethean Princess to pop your Fire Monster in order to get your play started with Garunix. Uh, and you get better follow-up because if you can Arvata Effect Negate, destroying the Flame Burge in hand, and then you get a lot of follow-up because you can go Flame Burge 1, Garunix 2, Summon out here. Summon a bunch of the guys from the graveyard. And then we can go chain link one, chain link two, chain link three, and just get an egregious amount of follow up here. <clears throat> it's it's really not even funny. Not to mention you still do have the two up in the gates. Uh, for the next combo, I'm going to show you a, a combo um, when you get drolled. Uh, the Snake Eye Ash stuff really helps you play through droll to like a full inboard still. So I'm going to show you that. Okay, so this is a combo here. Uh, if we do get drolled, so we're in a normal summon Ash, trigger the effect to add. It's going to put Populous in our hand. Chain Link 1 is going to be Populous' effect to special summon itself from hand. Chain Link 2 is going to be that droll and Logbird that we're a little bit scared of. But it is fine. If you start with Snake Eye Ash, the deck actually plays very, very well through droll. So here I'm going to show you what you do. You're going to Link 1 with your Link Karibo into Populous. Trigger the Populous effect to put itself in the spell trap. Then we're going to trigger the Ash effect, sending itself in the Populous. Summon out Oak from the graveyard. And then we can trigger the Oak effect to summon back. Ooh, there we go. Trigger the Oak effect to summon back the Populous. Trigger the Oak effect now to send itself in this Link Karibo. We're going to summon Flame Burge from the deck. You'll see this is a very common thing in a lot of the, uh, the Snake Eye decks. If you can get to a Flame Burge plus any fire, that's the full inboard. It's just about Link climbing up now and using your bodies correctly. So we're going to Link 2 into this IP. Trigger the Flame Burst to summon back. It's going to summon back any two of the bodies from Graveyard. Then we're going to Link into a 3 with Promethean Princess. Using the effect of Promethean to revive back this Flame Burst from earlier. We're going to use the Flame Burst's effect to put the IP in the Spell Trap Zone. And then finally we're going to Link into an Amblo Whale. So, for disruptions on your opponent's turn, even through this droll, our one card was able to get to about 3-4 disruptions here. We have the Flame Burge to summon IP from Spell Trap. We have the IP to link itself and the Flame Burge away into an IP. And we have a couple different triggers here. We have IP effect to banish, we have Flame Burge effect to summon back a bunch of guys. 
and you get a lot of follow up off this because now you have the ash effect to add, the oak effect to target in graveyard to either summon back or add. And really cool thing about Snake Eye Ash is it can actually add itself. So when you're uh, you're getting follow up by fair turn, ash adding ash is a very, very good thing. Uh, because the oak summon back populous, you get populous effect to add, you get another original to hand. Great, great thing here. We have two different lines of play on our opponent's turn. We still have the little knight to banish itself in our opponent's card. And at any point, we have Promethean to pop itself and pop the Amblo Whale. And then when they inevitably out this Promethean Princess to try to kill you, you have another pop with the Amblo Whale and Graveyard. <laughs> so that's how you play through Droll. I'm going to show you one final combo, and then we'll get into a deck list. So I'm going to show you what happens if you open Ash and Arvata. This is a weird hand because there is two normal summons in it, but here's how you play through that correctly. Normal summon Snake Eye Ash. Trigger the effect to go ahead and add. It's going to add Populous to hand. Populous' effect is going to summon itself from hand gonna have original now this is where we're gonna kind of do what we did in the first combo we're gonna go ash effect sending itself in populous here it's gonna summon out snake eyes oak chain link one oak chain link two populous put self in the spell trap and then we go oak effect to go ahead and send the populous summon flame birds from deck we're gonna use the effect of flame birds to go ahead and put a guy in our spell trap zone then use original to send the populace. If you get ash here, this is the same combo that you have as long as you have a fire monster and flame verge. But let's go ahead and show this as if it were full, uh, if it fully resolved. I'm gonna summon Ponix here. Ponix effect to add. It's gonna get our sanctuary. Activate sanctuary. Gonna head and place island on the field. So now that we're here, we're going to link two into Sunlight Wolf, and this is just a way of compressing our bodies now. That way we can get the full value out of our Vata. Trigger the Island is going to destroy our Vata here. Too bad Garunix. <coughs> now for Chain Links, we have Garunix effect in hand and our Vata effect in graveyard to special summon out Ponix. Now we have the effect of Garunix. It's going to destroy Kieran here. We're going to trigger the Kieran effect to summon out Arvata. And now, this is where we start to link climb and get a lot of plays here. We're going to link one the Link Karibo, trigger the Sunlight Wolf. This is going to add back that Kieran we dumped from deck. So this, this play is really good because it sets up the Kieran in hand uh, just as a byproduct of using your resources correctly. We're going to link three here into Heat Soul. Heat Soul effect pay a thousand, get us that draw. As always, our draws are always infinite and permanent because we're a better player than our opponent is. We're going to link now into the Appaloosa. Trigger the Flame Burge effect, summon out a bunch of guys from the graveyard. And now, we really can just climb up. We can link here, here, and here into that Promethean Princess. Promethean Princess, summon back anything from the graveyard, and then make an Amblo Whale. So just because we drew the Arvata, we were able to not only end with the same board as if we had done the first combo, but we also played around Nibiru a little better, and we put an Arvata on our field and a Kieran in our hand. So you have this, this random draw here. We also have the Promethean, which is going to pop Amblo Whale to summon Heat Soul, summon Garunix, Garunix pop, summon from Graveyard, get a pop, Arvata pop, trigger Amblo Whale, Appaloose negates, Kieran pop. It really is just an amalgamation of disruptions, and it's very hard to interact with. So that's why I like the Fire King deck. All right, this is the Fire King deck list that I have been playtesting with. It's uh, it's a little bit weird because the non-engine is, uh, is quite big here. This plays 14 different hand traps, which I think is pretty necessary in the next hand, in the next format. You either have to play a very, very high hand trap list, or you have to play uh, board breakers. But the problem with board breakers is they're really not that strong. I want to show you guys off uh, some of the cool Monster Reborn here. is actually a very good card into the mirror match, as well as uh, into really just any fire deck. Using Monster Reborn to take their Promethean Princess not only turns off a disruption, it's also a line of play for you. So Monster Reborn, we'll see more play next format. And then Shadal Fusion is a nice little tech we've been we've been testing out. Using Shadal Fusion, sending any fire from deck to graveyard, also triggers the uh, uh, effect of Ariel. And you just summon Grista. So what you can do is you can go Shadal Fusion, sending Ariel, sending Garunix, summon Grista, 
trigger the effect of Ariel, targeting three things in your opponent's graveyard and banishing them. So after you get Ariel to banish the things from their graveyard, you now reloaded a Garunix in graveyard just in case anything gets popped later. And you also have this Grista. Very cool thing about the Grista here is that you can link it away to add back Shadal Fusion, and then you can make your Prometheum Princess to summon it back. And then since you've summoned it back, you can use the effect to negate by sending the Shadal Fusion that we added previously in the turn as another disruption. So that's a few things that we've been testing out this week. I really appreciate you tuning into the video. If you'd like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and you have a great day.